Right, we're back in the get, uh, garage again. This is part two. Um, I've, I've more or less done uh, Umar's uh, turbine shaft and compressor wheel. So uh, anyway, what I've done, I've had to, I had to order a, a new belt drive. I've, I've gone for a shorter belt drive, and I've turned the motor. This motor was that way around before, and I've turned it that way, so it's lowered the motor, shortened the belt. Um, and it's a slightly thicker belt, it's 1.5 from 1.2. I just used the original belt out of the machine that I got the motor out last time. Um, so I think that's going to be better. Well I know it's better because I've used it. But it also gives you more clearance on this on this middle point. Because um, that's that's got to be a taper, a triangular taper. And um, because I, it's, it's quite a big pulley on here, um, it clears it better. Uh, it was, I think I was getting some vibration off the belt with being so long and I've also uh, put another little uh, sensor in there I'm going to put the links down below um, to all the bits I've, I've used um, and talking about this again um, there's like three things in this there's a, there's a voltage controller for the motor off and on switch so so I can I can speed it up and slow it down it's not going very fast it's only going like I don't even know I, I'll check it and, and put it in the comments below after but it, it's probably only doing 1000 2000 RPM um, so it's fairly safe um, so this is your this is your switch to vary the speed and it's got to be fairly sensitive this is I checked this and uh, it's not the voltage but it doesn't matter it, it, it is it might be the voltage but it's just not very accurate at all um, so uh, all you want is to be repeatable so that I can go back to that uh, same figure that I was on when I find the point where it resonates I'm going to add some weight to make it resonate in a minute um, so, that, so you can actually get these you can get a speed controller off eBay and a digital readout which might be better so you don't need to make two thirds of the circuit if you know what I mean you, you could you could just buy this I think it's about eight pound off eBay and all it is it is a voltage adjustment to speed the motor up and down uh, you want a fairly good quality um, low amps motor you don't want something that's high powered you want a five pole motor if you can get it uh, it's better if it's something like this off a tape deck because they're better balanced and smoother running. Um, but for eight quid, you can you can replace this and this with a digital, so that's like uh, quite a bit of the work done for you. So you don't need to buy that. Then uh, this, I'm going to give you some pictures after. I'll take I'll take the back off it and send some uh, put some pictures in. Uh, but this is just like a multi-position switch with a lot of resistors. Uh, added on the back so that um, the resistance steps down as you go up so it's, it's more sensitive but you've got to kind of start you've got to kind of start low and then work your way up as, you, as it gets nearer and nearer but once you get to five and six on this um, I'm getting beyond what the system can do I usually find that it's best to the smallest blower use is about two and a half milli diameter of blue tack and, uh, and what I'll do, I'll, I'll keep, I mark the blades up, so I know where I am, and I'll keep rolling a ball on here. So I'll make a small ball. It's difficult to photo all this really, but you make a small ball, and you'll you'll try it on a place. You try it somewhere. If it's not, that's not. This is a bit big, really. Um, and you you roll it and press it down again. Try it there. Roll it. Press it out. Try it there. And then if you find somewhere where it's worse, you've made it, the signal higher. Uh, try moving it 180. Yeah. And then you can fine tune it that way again. And if you find it's too much weight, you can either take it off or or roll it to the middle a bit more. Uh, nearer to the middle 
Uh, once I'm messing with a very small bowl, it's worth cleaning this off as well with some thinners, then it sticks better. Uh, but if you just roll the ball around your fingers a bit, it sticks better. They do sometimes, it does sometimes fly off, but obviously with this being low revs, it's, it's not that big of a danger. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So you're looking for it to make it better. If it makes it worse, that's good because then you can just go 180. You've, you've, you've made the heavy point heavier. So uh, that, that's something I'm doing that you can't really see. But just to explain a bit more about this, what, you, what you're actually doing, you're getting up to a speed where all this wobbly bit here starts to wobble, starts to resonate. And that then, this is only so sensitive. It is very, very sensitive, but um, it becomes even more so. As you can see, if I tap the bench, I'll zoom in a bit. If I tap the bench, so that's why you've got to be, you don't want to be near anything that vibrates. Obviously if I tap this it's even more sensitive. But what you do is you increase the revs, it gets to a point where this, normally you can't see it, but it starts to move, starts to vibrate. Um, and you've hit the resonance. If you play around with it, um, you can get the, sometimes it just kind of passes through and just the needle goes up and down. I'll zoom in and show you in a minute. The needle goes up and down as you pass through that resonance period. And what you've got to do, you've got to go through it, just slightly through it and pass where the signal's coming down again. Um, but you literally, you can, you'll hardly see me moving this as I, as I turn the voltage up and down just to, to fine tune it to that point. Um, if you can get rid of that, you've more or less done it, you, it's as good as you can. Then you can perhaps move this up a bit and to see whether it shows up more. Uh, and you haven't got rid of it, <laughs> basically. Uh, but that's what the, the game I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to that point where all this starts to vibrate, resonate at that frequency. Then I'll, I'll just go a little bit faster, a little bit beyond that. And the needle will go up and then it will come down a bit. Uh, don't just look at it and judge it by how far it's gone up because sometimes if you play it and, and keep it on that point it, it vibrates even more and more so you don't get a consistent reading at resonance it can either vibrate a lot or a little <laughs> it depends what it wants to do so I think that's a better explanation because I've watched part one now myself. so what I'm going to do I'll put it on there. I'll just make sure it's zoomed in enough. Yeah, that's as much as I can get it. Hopefully we can see it. So you can you can see the needle went up a bit then. Um, because obviously it's making a bit of noise. There's a bit of noise in the system. And then It was, it wasn't about, the worst point was about four I think, on this dial here. You can just see it bounce up a bit, so I'll just turn it up a bit more sensitive. You see that? That's what you're trying to get rid of. Yeah? It gets harder and harder as you get, you, you turn this up more and more. So you, there's a slight bit of imbalance in it still. It seems to vary every day sometimes. It, so we'll see if I can see if I can get rid of that. Oh, that's why <laughs> I put the weight on. I'll take that plasticine off. Now we'll see how it reacts. So it's not it's not showing it now where it was. Yeah. It's not suddenly as I go up, it's not suddenly swinging up and then coming down. So that's all you've got to do really. You've got to keep you've got to keep putting weight on and moving it around till you see that signal disappear. If it disappears, turn it up one, try it again and see whether it shows up. Uh, on your more sensitive setting, but you can see it's quite. You don't want to be. 
you don't want anybody banging or doing any drilling near it. So it is just putting my hand on on the vise uh, does it. That's that's just me putting my hand on the vise. Yeah. So obviously that that sensor is quite sensitive, but it's not sensitive enough. And this increases it, I don't know, tenfold, you say. It, it, it makes a big difference that when you hit that that point where that resonance where it it's out of balance, I'll stick a bit higher. So this is about two millibol. Stick it anywhere. Now let's try it again. So I'll just increase it a bit. And you can see you can see it just bobbing up and down a bit. Yeah, that's just why wow, this more sensitive. You can see it just wave up and down there, can't you? That's that weight I've just stuck on. And it's about at four on here. This is just an indication of where the revs are, yeah? Where it, it's, the resonance is happening. If I go too fast, it, it just gets a bit. So that's it. So what I'll try and do, I'll try and take some photos from different angles. It's a bit skew with now because it's not level. Because I've I've had to put the bearing on. Because the final bit, I did it a bit just on the inner race first. And then I've took the seals off either side of the bearing. I've not took the grease out, then hopefully it might quieten the the balls from rattling um, but I could do to to lift all this lot up but I don't want it normally I put a packer under here and I forgot it so I can take a packer out and, and then drop this when I put the bearing on um, but it's better obviously if you keep the shaft uh, straightish but these are knife it's a V these nylon bits are a V and they're, and they're shortened to a point and you at least friction Okay, so I'll try and take some pictures now. 